In this episode, you will catch a glimpse of the beautiful landscape following alongside the Pacific coastline in Oregon and Washington State, hike a short rainforest trail that treks alongside Wanucci Lakeshore, admire stunning mountainous ridgeline views, and stay at a remote USDA campground in Olympic National Forest. Often, too often actually, I have allowed negative thoughts to decide which path I'm going to take, and sometimes the path I was on had control over my well-being. As you already know, this isn't a good combination or predicament to be in. However, over the years I have also learned when to slow down, how to overcome these negative thoughts, and ultimately how to enjoy the finer things in life. As Tina and I were traveling from Cannon Beach and Seaside Beach, we couldn't help but feeling at peace knowing that we were leaving the hustle and bustle of civilization behind us for a more remote location located in the middle of a beautiful blanketed rainforest known as Olympic National Forest. Okay, so we've arrived at Coho Campground and it's nice. Very quiet here. I think we're probably, what, maybe an hour and a half or about an hour from civilization? Probably. We're actually in Olympic National Forest, which is separate from Olympic National Park. It's just below it. Um, we're in a campground managed by USDA. It is a beautiful campground. It's called Coho Campground. The lake here is gorgeous. We'll get a chance to see that here shortly. It is beautiful. I'm going to move this lake to North Carolina and live on it. You are? <laughs> I would like to. <laughs> what is the shipping of that going to cost? <laughs> I probably don't want to know. You know. I'd just figure out a way to sneak that one by me because I don't want to see that bill. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, okay, note taken. Anyways, the campground here is gorgeous. Highly recommend it. Um, it is, there is no electricity hookups. I do believe that I saw a dump station out front though. It's $5 though. To, $5 to dump. to dump. And there was a sign at the um, front of the campground that was talking about showers somewhere else that you can go to take a shower. I think it does cost a couple of dollars. I don't know how far away that it is, is. But since we stayed at a hotel last night, we're opting to stay dirty tonight. Dirty? For two days yeah okay we are staying at a state campground tomorrow night so i, I guess we could take a shower hours, tomorrow so it's just yeah. tonight we're not so we're opting for one night of dirty one night, of, one night of stink where you embrace the stink for one night for one night okay all right we were lazy today we didn't do any trails today i don't know why because we had to drive three hours that's not very far though yeah but we just why i enjoyed the drive did you not here's the thing we're we get to campsite drive. and we did not want to move that's just that's just all there is to it so they have a really nice uh, group area here, and it's right on the lake. Uh, Coho Campground is actually a pretty nice campground so far. Uh, I feel a little bit more secluded here. I don't feel like I'm on top of the hustle and bustle. Uh, we're definitely far out, so the nearest town is over an hour <laughs> just to get cell service. Looks like there's a nice beach area up here too. Not sure why there's nobody here even a swim area yeah so there are a few people down here just couldn't see them that far back we are gearing up to do have a really big day tomorrow so um, we do have the beach on our agenda for tomorrow looking for more starfish um, up in the Washington coastline uh, one of the only beaches uh, in Olympic National Park that's actually open and we also have the whole rainforest area. I believe we're doing three hikes there tomorrow. Yep, we're doing three hikes there tomorrow. One six mile, one two mile, and another two mile. Now those I think are both like one point something. One point two or one point one. Touristy hikes, but the ones that you have to do when you come. Okay, all right. Well, you know, we got to get those underneath our belt too. I guess you know they got to go off on the checklist. Okay. Yeah, glad you guys are with us. Wainochi Lake was the lake you're looking How do you pronounce that? I think Wainochi, or it could be Wainochi, but I'm gonna go with Wainochi. They're not gonna I might. Check out the cool little gear chicken rat. Yeah. What trail are we on? Wainochi? Wainochi? Lake trail, I'm making it up. Are we hiking a trail we don't even <laughs> know what it is? 
we just decided hey that looks like a good trail to walk down so we walked down it well because i think I, i'm pretty sure i know where it'll cross the boat launch up here it has like, to like maybe or you know for sure i know for sure you know for sure so we're not like walking out into the abyss no at the worst case scenario we have to walk 13 miles to come back to where we started really that's worst 13 case, miles that's worst case scenario if i have to walk 13 miles i'm gonna be comatose tomorrow and there's no hiking well i think there's a boat launch up here so you might be in luck. blueberries up here what we got blueberries i think they're blueberries i wouldn't try them just in case I'm wrong. can we eat them look there's more blackberries these ones are black yeah i don't know probably they look healthy well let me ask you a question what are we going to be searching for at the coral reefs tomorrow? Starfish. Starfish? If we find one, are we able to bring them home? No. We can't bring them home. No, they get dead and stinky. Remember, leave no trace. Look at these trees. I don't think I've seen pine trees this full from the very bottom all the way up to the top of the entire tree is covered with limbs. East Coast pine trees do not look like this. They're bare at the bottom. Look at all the ferns. Tons of ferns. Why Nucci Lakeshore? And so this is the boat launch. It's long. Doesn't look too steep. Could you see yourself boating out here? Um, I guess if I had a boat out here. Do you want to bring our boat from North Carolina? Pull it in, pull it all the way to Washington State? No. No? I'm not a good car rider. That'd be a long drive. <laughs> Like 2,500 miles or something? No, thank you. Yeah, doesn't sound like fun. But renting a boat coming out here, bringing a boat for those of you that live around here, this is a gorgeous lake. Nice campground too. No amenities at the campgrounds though. It's going to be boondocking. Okay, so we got up at 5.30 this morning. And we're going to be getting started here and just as soon as we finish our breakfast hash and we're going to be heading to the whole rainforest area we'll probably hit a visitor center up on the way there though but uh we got probably about a 15 minute late start this morning from when we really wanted to get up so we're doing pretty good and we'll catch back up with you in a bit do a quick review here of uh, Falls Creek. We're in the Lake Quinault area. Okay, so Falls Creek Campground is certainly somewhere that's a little bit closer than we than we are to the park to olympic but uh the campsites are also a little closer so i'm actually glad we ended up staying where we were all right so we're gonna go check out willoughby campground now We find the Lake Quinault area to be a quaint little town that is nestled in the rainforest. This town is also known as the Gateway to Olympic National Park. Activities are plentiful here. You can hike alongside giant conifer trees, go boating or fishing on the gorgeous Quinault Lake, choose between 24 waterfall trails to hike on, or go for a scenic drive in the rainforest. You can view all the information on the waterfall trails and learn more about the activities here on the CanaultRainforest.com website. I will put a link in the description below for those of you that are interested in traveling here. Okay, so once again, USDA campgrounds have surpassed my expectations. Um, we definitely stayed at the right campground, even though we were a little ways out from the park last night. 
Okay, so we finally made it to Olympic National Park. We're here. We hope you enjoyed coming along with us on this Hike and Go Seekers camping adventure through the peaceful Olympic National Forest. If you are new to our channel and you like hanging out with us, hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you'll be notified when we share our next trip to Olympic National Park.